Hi, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. Power up! Hey guys, as you know, we do the show here on the YouTube, but sometimes the YouTube fails, and when that happens, we don't want to fail you. But we created a fail safe so we could get you content all the time. And that fail safe is sourcefed.tumblr.com. Link is in the description down below, so follow us there, because it's just another great way for us to get you the news. Let's do this. Back in 2009, women's track and field 800 meter runner Castor Semenya exploded the sport when she clocked the 800 meter time of 1 minute 55.45 seconds. For those of you that don't know, that's insane fast. So fast, in fact, that competitors and officials demanded that the lady runner submit herself for gender testing. They basically said, clearly, you are too fast to be a woman, so we would like to test the femininity of your femininity. And with that, the International Association of Athletics Federation, or IAAF, started their push to ban ladies that weren't lady enough from international competition. But now a bunch of Stanford intellects have banded together to call BS and hopefully put a stop to the policy before it gets instituted in time for the 2012 Olympics. The IAAF policy wants to ban female athletes with high levels of testosterone. This condition is known as hyperandrogenism, and they justify this decision based on the belief that the condition results in jumping higher and running faster. They claim the new regulations rest on the assumption that androgenic hormones such as testosterone and dihydrotestosterone are the primary components of biologic athletic advantage. And in order for an athlete to compete again, they must undergo surgery or take drugs to decrease the levels. That's crazy. In the case of Semenya, after she obliterated the world championships and people got all whiny, she was forced to take a gender test. And really, she was all woman except for a rare condition where her ovaries were non-existent and were replaced by internal testes. And these internal testes were responsible for pumping out elevated levels of testosterone. Because of this, people freaked out, most likely because of a need to win and a fear of things they don't quite understand, and she was banned from competition. Let's be clear here, though. She wasn't cheating, she was just different. And also, it's important to note that she hasn't shattered any records. She isn't even in the top 10 of all time when it comes to the 800 meter dash. She was later reinstated, but that didn't stop this gender testing ball from rolling. And let's be clear on one other point. All women produce testosterone, and we produce it at varying levels. And what the IAAF is attempting to do is pinpoint a level of testosterone production that would determine whether or not a lady is a lady. Ridiculous! It's a witch hunt for biological anomalies. The body isn't an exact science. This is just nature being nature. And the experts over at Stanford think it's ridiculous too. The super smart group of bioethicists, scientists, and sports experts joined forces and is now demanding that the policy be erased from existence. For one, they believe the gender test to be a violation of privacy, which they are, and contrary to assurances that results of said tests would remain confidential, hey, you're not, uh, you're not competing anymore. No, no, I'm not. Uh -uh. Oh, but you didn't do anything wrong. No, 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 I didn't. I mean, you did that gender test thing a week ago. How did that go? Oh! On top of that, they believe the policy is potentially prejudicial and sexist. They also argue that the other athletes reap the benefits of their anomalies, so why should these women be banned? Rare variations in the mitochondria result in superhero-like aerobic capacity in some cyclists, and hormonal conditions lead to large hands and feet in some basketball players. And they ain't getting any guff. They ain't getting no guff. And really to suggest surgery and drugs to alter the body is not a cool thing to do. And the Stanford peeps are all like, we don't even know what normal levels of testosterone in ladies be, yo. And the body's like a complicated machine with like a billion contributing factors. So the smart people are calling for an immediate stop to gender inspection in the international competition. And I agree, leave our lady stuff alone. Unless you're Michael Fassbender. Gross. So what do you guys think? Should people with gender anomalies be allowed to compete in international competition? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcebed.com for our five daily stories and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Power, Power up! up! Sourcebed! 20 minutes or less! The internet! World! We write all of our stuff! Ah! People don't know that! Ah!